India and China have had a troubled relationship on almost all fronts to have seen highs and lows of border disputes and trade differences for over security as well. At the front that has taken the maximum hit is diplomacy. The two have broken into a bitter spat and at the center of this is a Chinese vessel that was docked at a Sri Lankan port. The Chinese ambassador to Sri Lanka continued Beijing's narrative against New Delhi, accused Sri Lanka's northern neighbor of interfering in the island nation's matters. Without naming India, he said that Sri Lanka overcame aggression from its northern neighbor 17 times. India's High Commission in Sri Lanka was quick to react. It released a strongly worded statement on Twitter saying that the Chinese ambassador violated basic diplomatic etiquette and that his views may be colored by his own country, how his own country behaves. The statement ended on that note. Sri Lanka needs support, not unnecessary controversies to serve another country's agenda. Much before the Wang Yuan 5 reached the Humban Tota port, Concerns were being raised against Colombo's decision. New Delhi had outrightly called the vessel a spy ship, which has the capability of snooping on its neighbors. And also map the ocean floor, which could be crucial information for Chinese submarines. Remember, the shortest distance between Sri Lanka and India is only 54.8 kilometers, and India was not the only country concerned. United States had also stated security threats suggested that Sri Lanka should not allow the Chinese vessel to dock in its waters. But the Ranil Vikramasinghe government dismissed all claims, calling them unfounded. So five days after its scheduled date of arrival, the Chinese vessel docked at Humban Tota port on the 16th of August and remained there till the 4, till 4 p.m. on the 22nd of August. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.